coal and gas. If we didn't have coal and gas and iron ore, but you know, we would be stuffed. I mean, gas is our second biggest export. Uh, it's it's responsible for billions and billions of royalties and taxes each year for our hospitals, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What disturbs me, right, when we're running out of energy, when we're uh, got running up a trillion dollar national debt, is that the Albanese government first. It, right, it, it, it's f sponsored, it's paid for these activist lawyers to hold up Woodside gas developments uh, off Western Australia because of whale song lines of Aborigines being allegedly disrupted. Uh, the Prime Minister then, and this really worried me, was last week not fussed that Woodside's $30 billion browse project out at sea had just been rejected by the Environment Protection Authority. Here he is. Well, we of course have environmental laws in place that allow for proper environmental assessments. Uh, we support the resources sector, of course, subject to uh, those environmental approvals. There you go, Matt. Come see, come sir. I mean, if we get this thirty billion dollar project, uh, good. If we don't, because of environment, also good. I mean, really, is that a, is that a serious answer? Well, as you say, Andrew, our nation will be bankrupt uh, without the uh, the bounty that comes from our resources sector, including our gas uh, industry. Western Australia would be in a much more uh, poor state if not for those industries. And and you, you, through the Prime Minister's answer, you're getting a prism, a small insight into why our economy is going backwards so badly, why you're struggling uh, to pay uh, for basic uh, items at your shops, why, you, why people are struggling to stay in their homes and pay their mortgage. Because this government has no productivity agenda. And our, and our productivity has been the doldrums, and it's one of the reasons that inflation is persisting in this country, persisting long, be yep. long beyond the COVID hangover, because we're not focused on improving our economy. And, and to improve our economy, Correct. we need to attract big investments like this Woodside investment. And by saying no to it or by standing Mate. on the sidelines as, as if you're not Prime Minister, you somehow have no power. <laughs> You've just got to stand back. I mean, why is he in the job? <laughs> why do we put him there? If he bit, can't do anything, get out, get out of the way back. and put someone in there who's is willing there, to make some is decisions. There like a, is there like a tennis spectator? Whack, you know, environment, uh, yeah. Yeah, development, environment, <laughs> development, environment. Got to accept oh, the he can't ball. do anything, Matt Canavan. <laughs> Matt Canavan, it's always uh, it's gone downhill since you were uh, resources minister. Thank you so much for your time.